Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your first time here. My name's Deanna. Happy 2023. I hope that your year so far is off to a great start. So I shopped my collection and curated my makeup basket that I want to use for the entire month of January. But first what I wanted to do is show you really quick what is going to be going out of my makeup collection. These are all things, well there's a few things that I wasn't using in December, but the majority of them are items that I was using in December and am saying goodbye to for 2023. First things first is this old Too Faced bronzer. And in my December makeup bag, <laughs> I told you guys that this was the that December was going to be the last month I was going to use this old bronzer that I've had in my makeup collection for probably five or six years. It's got the old packaging. There is still some left. And yes, I could continue to use it, but it's that old. I'm ready to say goodbye to it. I thought for sure by now I would have completely 100% pan this, but alas, it did not happen and that's okay. We had a great run together. <laughs> also, what's going away is the e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum. So I use this almost every day that I did my makeup as my primer. I got through a lot of it. I think it's, it's hard to tell, but I think it's probably around here. The only thing I don't like about this is I do not like the way that it dispenses. It's got one of those little dropper dispensers. It's just not my preferred method for something like this, for a product like this. I'm going to say goodbye to that one. It didn't do anything extra special to my skin as a primer, so I'm ready to let that one go as well. Two other things from e.l.f. that I'm going to say goodbye to. I did use them a few times in the month of December, and that's these little e.l.f. liquid eyeshadows. They work. They set down, but I find them on me to be a little bit dry and crumbly looking, even when you do light layers. So after using them a couple times, I'm deciding to let these go. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop pressed powder got a lot of use out of this one. It's just your basic pressed powder. Again, nothing really impressed to me about it. It worked. It's just one that I'm ready to say goodbye to. So I purchased a benefit trio of mini mascaras. I think they have more in their lineup of mascara, more than just these three. I'm not sure of the other names, but the Roller Lash I'm actually using in my makeup bag for January because I hadn't tried that one yet. There's this one, the They're Real Magnet Mascara right here. This one I was using in November. Don't like it. <laughs> and I don't like it just because it doesn't have good hold. It didn't fluff up my lashes at all. It just was not good. For the whole month of December, I used this one, Bad Gal Bang. And this has a really nice wand that I enjoyed using. It's got the tapered end, which is really great for getting in the inner and outer corners of your lashes. And this is definitely better than the other one, but not quite there for me. And as much as I really enjoy mascara as a, as a product, it's one of my favorite like makeup products is mascara because it can just really transform your face. <laughs> it's just putting on a few coats of mascara. And for me, having hooded eyelids, I really demand a lot from the mascara to hold my lashes in place so that the hood of my eyelid doesn't cause them to droop back down. And so once I curl them, I need that mascara to lift and hold the curl in place all day. And this just doesn't do that. <laughs> so I need to say goodbye to it. No mediocre mascaras here for me. We're not holding on to things because, just because we paid money for them, just because we've only used it a couple times, didn't like it, then felt a little bit bad and figured, oh, I should just use it. I just don't want to do that. It's not worth it. So okay. now moving on to all the items that I am going to be using. I've got my makeup basket right here, full of everything. So here we go. It's funny, I can hear my little dog, Jake, outside of this door. I can hear his little nails on the floor out there and he just kind of hovers. And I wish I could have him in here. <laughs> He's so sweet and I wish I could put a little bed or towel or blanket on the floor here, but he'd be here for like a minute or two and then he'd be scratching at the door. He'd hear my husband go to the kitchen, which is right outside here, and he'd immediately want out to see what's going on in the kitchen and to see if anything's for him. I can't have him in here, but I always feel sad. <laughs> 
I always feel so bad for him out there when I hear his little paws outside of the door kind of going back and forth sniffing at the door. <laughs> so everything that I'm wearing on my face today is actually all from my makeup basket. So I did film me putting this makeup on. So you may see little clips of me throughout me showing you the products of me actually applying said products. So first we'll start with base things, primer. I picked out two things that I'm going to be using like a primer. One is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct primer base. It says it corrects redness and all of that. I don't deal with a ton of redness on my face, maybe a little bit around my nose area, maybe slightly on, on my chin, but nothing really noticeable. What I really like about this is very moisturizing and it's really, really glowy. It just feels really good. Definitely gives more of a moisturized feel and look to my skin than that e.l.f. serum did. And I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This product is beautiful. And I have the shade 4 Medium in this one. And it also feels like a really luxe in this nice weighty glass bottle as well. So there's that. So I'm just going to be using those two back and forth. Uh, as a base for my makeup. I don't think I'll use them together like this and the halo glow on top. It's going to be either or. And I decided for January, I'm going to do a concealer only month, no liquid foundation. So for that, I'm gonna use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have the color Cookie. And this one I was using in December as well as my concealer. It's definitely a full coverage concealer, but it shears out really beautifully. It's perfect for a concealer only type of a makeup look and I'd really like to use this up. And as far as other base makeup, I will be using two different powder foundations. One, I think it may be discontinued and that's the e.l.f. Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. This is normally the powder that lives in my purse and I do any sort of little touch-ups during the day with this Stay Matte Not Flat Powder. And I have the color Medium Beige. The last time I purchased this powder, I purchased two from Ulta because I just really, really like it. It does look rather light here in the pan, but it blends out on my skin tone just beautifully. It's just, it's a beautiful powder. I really like this. I have one other backup that I will absolutely use up. So with that in my mind of knowing that at some point I'm gonna have to find a different powder foundation. When the e.l.f. camo powder foundation came out, I was really interested in trying it out. So I have the color Light 280N, which I'm not light complected, but in searching for my match, I use YouTube as a resource, which I'm sure many of you do too. So I look for someone who has close to similar skin tone as mine and look for reviews on the product to see which one I think will work for me best. And this is the one, and I believe it was the Mexican Beauty. I've tried out many different complexion products based off of what she uses as a shade. And I'm pretty sure I got this shade because it's the same one that she did. And this is what it looks like, light. 280N and I used this little triangle velour puff to apply it and just get some of the powder. I like to tap it out on the back of my hand and then go in with it and press it into those areas that I really want a little bit extra coverage and just kind of leaving this area of my where I have all my freckles. I don't press powder over there because I want my freckles to show up as much as possible. So other powders. Since I said goodbye to <laughs> that Too Faced bronzer, I said hello to Dior. And this little compact I've actually had in my makeup collection for a little while and it's time to use her because I do this thing when I buy something nice that I really, really like, I'll use it but then I'll put it away and just say, no, I need to save that for later. And I was so bound and determined to use up that Too Faced bronzer that kept me away from moving on and using this beautiful Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I like to combine the two bottom shades together. One is much warmer and then there's kind of more of a cool tone one and they just blend beautifully together. The two lighter shades on the top, I'm going to experiment with trying to use those more like a finishing powder type thing. I'm not sure. I've got to play around with those and see how I like to use them. But in the past, when I first got this, I would use 
these as um, setting powders for my eyelids, for, for setting my eyeshadow primer. That's what I would use that for. And then also bringing in my Hourglass Translucent Veil. Again, this is something that I have in my makeup bag always because it's the only powder that I will use for my under eye. And that's just it. I think it's the best one. I won't ever get another one. I will always purchase that one. Lastly, for base product type powders, is another product that I'm pretty sure has also been discontinued. And the packaging you can tell is like so old. It's this, this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Reserve Your Cabana. It says it's a bronzer. This is not a bronzer color for me anyways. What I have used this for, and I have gone through quite a few of these pans over the years, and this one I've been holding on to for dear life. I probably didn't use it very much at all in 2022, but it's time to use it up and then that's it and let it go. This I like to use as a finishing powder, which is not a step I'll do every single day, but it's just one of those products that does just a little extra something on your skin. It doesn't make it look glittery or even shimmery, but there's just this light, this luminescence that it adds. And I use a big fluffy brush and I'll put it on my forehead and usually just like right around here. If I ever have gone a little too heavy handed with bronzer, this is a great way to kind of diffuse that a little bit. So when this is done, I hope that by that time I have disco discovered something else that works just like this for me. So I will be doing my research for a finishing type powder that does what this does. So next we're going to go into some other complexion products like blush and highlight specifically. I picked out my two other cream blushes that I have and those are the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. I have the colors cinnamon and melon and my favorite way to use these is to actually mix a little drop of each of them and mix them together. The color cinnamon just kind of blends away on me. It just works so beautifully mixed together and then I do love to wear the color melon by itself. It does show up really nicely on me. And then I'm also going to use for blush this elf little duo. This is the color coconut. I really love this brown blush on me. It has a slight satiny sheen to it. I'm not so sure about this highlight. It is a really pretty color highlight. It's just a little bit powdery and frosty for me, so I would like to get good use out of this blush. This pan is so small. It's not really ideal to get a blush brush into that little pan. I have to use a small brush. I may be on the hunt for finding a blush that's this brown color and trying to find like a normal size pan of it, like a traditional round or square pan. This blush I forgot about and it's CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Blush. <laughs> That's a mouthful here. It's this one right here and it's such a vibrant color. It's called Hot Frenzy. I don't remember when I got this. I think it was in the fall time. I saw it in the display at the drugstore and was like, Wow, that is a really beautiful color. I really, it's so pretty. It's like a fiery orange color. Oh, such a pretty blush. I'm in a hot frenzy to use this blush, aptly named Hot Frenzy. And this little box right here, this is a Benefit blush in the color Sugar Balm. Not balm, like lip balm, sugar balm, like as in she dropped a bomb on me. <laughs> this is one of their little boxed blushes. It's a little mini sized one. They used to make it full size. This actually used to be my only blush slash highlighter that I would wear. And again, they used to make it in the full size and now they actually don't make this packaging anymore. They've streamlined it and it's a thin little box. It doesn't come with the brush. This Look at this little little baby brush. It's so cute. It's basically four different shades together and there's the lighter shimmer more shimmery shades are half the pan and then it's just overall a goldy rosy type color. Because this is just a little mini size here, I would keep this in my uh, makeup bag and just take it along with me if I ever needed to touch up or anything like that. This was something that I would use sometimes, but I've noticed that I haven't used it at all in probably months. So when I 
saw it in my makeup bag that I put in my purse, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna revisit it and start using it as a regular blush slash highlight like I used to and see how I feel about it. So I would say this product is probably on the chopping block just a little bit. We'll see how it goes the rest of this month. And as far as any other type of highlighter, I have ColourPop in the color Lunch Money right here. It's classic, this particular color they've been making for quite some time. It's one of their super shock highlighters. I actually just discovered this at Target because Target now has a limited selection of ColourPop products and this was one of them and I picked it up and it's beautiful. It's rather translucent in nature on me and it just, I love the way that it highlights. There's no shimmer particles in it. It's just a beautiful sort of translucent glow on my skin. I like to use it also as like an inner corner little highlight which is what I did today and I'll also and I also use some of it on like my brow bone up here today. And I just dab it on with my fingers which I have found is the best way to use it for me just because it does have that sort of bouncy cream to powder texture that the Super Shock formula has so I like it best applied with the finger. So as far as another highlight type product that I have really really enjoyed and that is the Tarte Shape Tape glow wand in the color a gleam i first was introduced to this product through a little sample and i just loved it it's a little liquid highlight and again it's something that has no shimmer particles or glitter or anything like that which i don't necessarily mind shimmer uh it's glitter that i don't like to use but Here's what it looks like. It's just a little doe foot wand with the product on there. It does have a little applicator sponge here. I've not used that. I don't know how well that would work. It has a beautiful glow. It makes my freckles kind of stand out a little more. I love the way that this looks. It's so, so pretty. Putting aside my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre as my eyeshadow primer and pulling in a little Milani eyeshadow primer. This is like the oldest one that I have and I have a new fresh tube. So I just wanted to go ahead and use this one up. So of course that is a classic. It's one that I've used for years now. It's just works. It's a great eyeshadow primer. So I picked out one full eyeshadow palette to use for the entire month of January. Sometimes I think that I can pull two and use them, which I can do that. But I find that once I get into working with one and seeing all the different ways I can use one and kind of challenging myself to use every single color and just come up with different looks, I find that for me, having just one eyeshadow palette to use for the entire month just makes me feel like I'm really actually using what I have, getting to know it, getting really creative with the different colors that are in the palette. So I'm going to be using this oldie but a goodie. Well, it's new to me. It's new to my collection. And that is is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It's so cute. Now I'm not one to collect super cutesy packaged eyeshadow palettes. I have two of the uh, ColourPop um, Mandalorian palettes that I love that have cute packaging on them and I love those palettes. But other than that, this is really the only other thing that I can think of that has this like cutesy packaging to it. I've always wanted this palette and when it first was released and it was like all the rage and supposedly sold out multiple times, I always wanted it and I, it's always been on my wish list and I just for whatever reason never purchased it until just a, about a month or two ago I got it and I'm so happy that I did. <laughs> I love the fake candy peach ring smell that it has. I love the color story. It's just a beautiful palette of colors and I am so excited to dig into it, making my dreams come true. I've always wanted this for years and now I have it in my collection. And you can still find current tutorials using the Sweet Peach palette and I'm sure it's many of people's favorite and like everyday sort of a palette. It's got a great blend of colors on there. I'm just so happy it's in my life now and to start off the year with a palette that I have always wanted. And yeah, if that's something that you have, please let me know. Did you first get it when it came out and everybody was so excited about it? I also pulled three singles from my collection. Two ColourPop Super Shock shadows. One is the color DGAF this one right here. It's actually the one that I use on my eyes today. It's just this beautiful bronzy 
coppery color. Look at that. It's so so, so pretty. I use this all over my lid today. That's it, just this one. And I didn't even need to use eyeshadow primer for it. I just used my finger to apply it and spread it out all over my eyelid. And it still looks really, really pretty. This formula just adheres so well onto the eyelid. Anyhow, uh, Moonwalk is the other color that I will be using. It's green and then it has kind of a copper flip to it. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, it's so, so pretty. This other little pot I've had for quite some time. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Mona Lisa. It's a beautiful, rich, chocolatey brown color that layers beautifully. It sets down. You can use it as a base. Beautiful product by Charlotte Tilbury there. So next in the basket here are two setting sprays. This one from Hard candy here. This is the one I've been using and it's very glowy and there's just a little bit left so I'm pretty sure I will definitely be able to finish that one up. And then I also have the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. This little mini version. And we'll start using that one when this one is done. Oh, I forgot about these two. These two, I used these in my 90s makeup video, the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. One of them is getting down pretty low. This is the one that I carry in my purse if I need to do any kind of a little bit of a touch up. And it's been in there a little bit, a little while. I figured it's since it's been in there, I want to go ahead and use it up. And I like mixing these two colors together. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using the little, this little e.l.f. duo, the e.l.f. instant lift brow pencil. I use the color deep brown and for the e.l.f. wow brow, I have the color neutral brown. It's just a nice, simple, easy way to do my brows on the daily. And as I mentioned kind of in the beginning when I was talking about the Benefit mascaras, I will be using the third one in that little three pack that I got, which is the Roller Lash. I used it yesterday. I enjoyed it. I used it today. And right out of the gate, first use, this is definitely my pick out of the three as far as one that I would possibly consider purchasing a full tube. I find that it really lifts and holds the curl a lot better. I think I'll enjoy using this one for sure for the entire month. And then next I've got a couple eyeliners I just wanted to share just in black and brown. These are both Rimmel eyeliners right here. And as you can see, I've used <laughs> used them up quite a bit. They're both around the same usage of each of them right now. And these I've had for a while. And they're still good. I used the brown one today. I decided I'm going to go ahead and use these as much as I can this month. I have a fresh brown and black eyeliner that I want to open up. So I'm going to use these this month and then probably get rid of them after that just because I think it's time. So and last I have we have lipstick and so I did pick out quite a lot of <laughs> lip products. One that I wanted to share is one that I use every single day and I have for years. And it's what I use after I do all of my morning skincare. I use this lip oil. It is Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. I happen to right now have the scent Tangerine. It's unflavored. It just has a little bit of an orangey scent. I've used all different varieties of these juice infused lip oils I have for years now. It's a really beautiful lip oil to use, especially just to kind of condition and prep your lips, make them nice and soft to apply lipstick or whatever you're going to apply afterwards, or just using it by itself, which I will often do that as well. And what I'm wearing today actually is the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine. They come in these tubes right here, really pretty black lacquered and gold tubes from Revlon here. The color I'm wearing right now is Rum Raisin, a classic color from Revlon. I'm going to put a little more on. This is the color right here. Just a really beautiful, rosy, brown, shiny lip color. Definitely has a balm feel to it. So easy to put on, so easy to wear. I tend to lean more towards in liking matte lipsticks, but lately I've been really into wearing a little bit more of a balmy or a gloss as well and just mixing that in. I still love my matte lipsticks, but I'm definitely inviting more of the moisturizing balms, 
and lip glosses into my world. So I also picked up recently a super lustrous, this one is called Glistening Purple. And here it is right here. It looks like a purpley grayish color. Let me swatch it. But it's so, so sheer and pretty. I'm not sure how well you're going to see it here. There's no glitter or anything in there. It's so pretty. I'm excited to wear this one. That's a beautiful formula from Revlon. I did pick up the Lancome, Lancome Juicy Tubes Original Lip Gloss and I picked up the color Hallucination. Do y'all remember these? These were all the rage. They still make their it's a really, really great little lip gloss. This definitely I can see myself having as one of those things that's just always in my purse and always an option uh, when my lipstick wears off and I don't feel like reapplying it, putting on the Juicy Tubes by Lancome. And as far as other regular bullet style lipsticks, I have one from Urban Decay in the color Horchata. This is just your classic kind of grungy brown color. This is an, the, an Urban Decay matte formula, but it's not fully matte at all. It's definitely more of a cream matte, very comfortable to wear, beautiful color. And then I've got this L'Oreal matte lipstick in the color Matte with Love. Really love this formula, but really hate that L'Oreal still scents their lipsticks can't describe it, just sound, just smells like a L'Oreal lipstick, which I do not enjoy the smell, but I love this formula. It's a really pretty mauve, muted mauve shade on me with little tones of rosiness, brown, taupey sort of mauve. Really love that color. Also have the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. This is a really nice formula as well. In this nude color, it's called Free Spirit. This is about as peachy light nude as I will go is this one right here. I also have the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Free Spirit that I like to pair with this one, or I will also use a brown lip liner to pair and mix with this one. And then of course I have one of my Maybelline vinyl inks. This one is in the color Lippy. I have fallen in love with these. I have four now. There's about two other ones that I hope to find. They've just been sold out on Ulta. Haven't been able to find them at the drugstores. These are fantastic. They're long wearing, they're comfortable. They're kind of matte, but kind of not. I just love them so great. Um, then I just have a few lip liners, mostly the NYX suede ones. Love those lip liners uh, to pair up with these lipsticks that I have. So I think that's it, you guys. That is it for my January makeup bag or basket, if you will. I am putting everything in this basket here and that goes on my vanity upstairs and it's just what I pull from every single day when I get ready for work. Thank you so much for sharing some of your precious time with me here today, going over what I'll be using for the entire month of January. I hope you go and have a great rest of your morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time of day it is that you stumbled across this video of mine. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And that's it. Till next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.